Gold Squad TV late night video um, before I crash out. All right, so it's the writing on the wall for Tristan Thompson. The Celtics have five big men right now on a contract. We have Al Horford, Moses Brown, Time Lord, Taco Fall, and Tristan Thompson. There's no way in hell we have five centers on the squad by the end of the year. At the beginning of next year. Beginning of the next season, one of those guys or two of those guys are going to have to go in order to create a roster spot or two for somebody a little more impactful. So let me ask you guys a question. Is Tristan Thompson's days as a Boston Celtics center numbered? Is Taco Falls days as a Celtic center number. Those are the two guys to me, if you're going to ask my opinion, are probably not going to be on the roster next year. That's just, you're talking about strictly centers. Moses Brown averaged a double-double towards the end of the year last year, OKC, and Horford's really mentoring him. And he's also going to be mentoring Time Lord. So those two guys are a lot. Those three guys right there are locked. It's Horford, Time Lord and Moses, those guys aren't going anywhere. So, what's left? You got Tristan and you got Taco. Now, let me get to Taco. Taco is a very lovable figure in the Boston area. Very lovable figure across the NBA. And I'm sure he'll find somewhere because of his size and being such a big athlete. I'm sure he'll find a place in the NBA that will be more suitable for what he's doing, for what he could do. But um, outside of that, he's really going to just be a main Celtic because now they're not the Red Claws anymore, the main Celtics. He'll probably just be a main Celtic or he'll just be on two-way you know, two contracts for the rest of his career or just not... Play, be in the Celtics roster next year. You know, you need to cut. At some point, I'm thinking Udoka is not going to want to keep dead weight on the roster. He seems like a very smart guy, and Brad's going to go wherever he wants to do. So, yeah, I would, I, I would say Taco might be G League at best next year or not even on the main roster. Just a guy that you call up every now and then. So, okay, so I'll take back. I think Taco will be on a roster, but he won't be on the main roster. I think he'll be a G League guy for a lot of his career. Just call him up if somebody gets hurt, bring him up type of guy. You know, cause we didn't have the G League team this year. You know, we they took a year off because of the whole COVID. So, that said, it gives Taco some more time to develop. Maybe trade him to another team, get some value back for him, even if it's a small value, maybe a draft pick. Who knows? But Tristan's pretty much the writings on the wall for Tristan Thompson. Tristan's an 11 year vet now. He's very really limited. He can rebound. He's tough. That's it. Takes a lot of space. Traditional center. Just good for layups. Maybe a little baby hook. That's it. Great defender. Great interior defender. I mean, yeah, he sucks on team defense. But when it comes to interior defense, if you're going to ask him to guard the opposing man's big man, he's very good at guarding the opposing man's big man. Um, as long as he's not a superstar. If he's unbeat, he's going to get beat up. But that said, I just don't see him being on the roster. If he is on the roster, you're not going to pay him. He's going to have to take a lesser number getting paid 18 million for one more year next year you're not Celtics aren't going to pay that money that's a hard number and you need more help for the bench so in my opinion I think Tristan is going to be moved but what is your opinion do you think Tristan Thompson and Taco Fall are on the roster are on the roster as of opening night in October Gold Squad TV let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below.